Now, as we speak, the DA is in a very interesting place. They've lost their parliamentary leader. And of course, Helen Zilla is not going to go to parliament as the DA's parliamentary leader. You have an opinion on the DA's split leadership? Yeah, I've held this opinion ever since I retired as leader, because when I was leader, I was the parliamentary leader and the national leader. And I told Helen in December 2006, just before I announced or just after I announced, I said, look, I think, and she was the mayor of Cape Town at the time, I think we should have one leader because I don't think we should have two centers of power. We're an opposition party. We're not the governing party. She disagreed with me, and in, in many ways, um, her leadership's been vindicated. She did very well as mayor, as we saw in last week's election result. Uh, she did very well as premier, and she's been rewarded, I think quite appropriately, with a lot of votes. But there's another dimension, and that is, and in a sense, my warning, I think, has also been vindicated, because the DA is about to elect its fourth parliamentary leader, in just on seven years since I relinquished the leadership of the party. And I think that's too big a turnover. I think it creates a lot of instability, as, as one seen recently. And I think the DA has got to look beyond the Western Cape. In fact, uh, in this election, the DA got more votes on the ground in Gauteng than it got in the Western Cape. Of course, Gauteng's population is much bigger. And therefore, for a national opposition party uh, to have a leader who's not in parliament means that the party and the country as a whole do not have the benefit of a single uh, leadership voice and it gets divided between the parliamentary leader and the national leader sitting in Leeuwenhof and Cape Town. And I think that uh, that does create objectively a lot of division and some uh, instability and I think they should be joined together. That can either be done instantly by Helen Zilla going to parliament or sooner rather than later the person they elect as the parliamentary leader at the end of May becoming the national leader.